now fam, they fight over this dish. I feel like it's super underrated. Why are you making faces? It should be so good. Hi everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every noodle and appetizer at Din Tai Fung. <laughs> So you guys got the last Din Tai Fung video to 8,000 likes, so we're gonna try their noodles and appetizers. Also, if you guys want to see a part three where we try their wontons, their fried rice, their boba drinks, they have like this whole boba menu. I never tried it. If you guys want to see that, then let's get this video to 8,000 likes again. You guys haven't let her down yet, so if you guys want to see part three, make sure you hit that like button below. But before we head into Din Tai Fung, we have a special announcement, which is that the Feed Me Ube is back at Urban Ritual. That's my favorite drink. <laughs> Mm, I've missed this. So good. Now that we have our favorite boba drink, let's head into Din Tai Fung. So we just put in our order of all the noodles and the appetizers. All right, first up, we have this cucumber salad. I feel like this is a Din Tai Fung classic. Do you want this top piece or do you want? I love the piece. Yeah! I love the piece. Yeah! Mom, there was one piece of garlic and you dropped it. But at least it landed on your plate. Mom, that's just the cucumber. The garlic is on the table. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. So refreshing and crunchy. The crunch is something else. It's just such a light and satisfying crunch. I really enjoy how Ding Tai Fung flavor the food. This is not too salty. It has a lot of flavor, but it's not overwhelming. So it keeps the freshness of the cucumber. Just the right balance. So for now, we will rank this at number one. Next, we have this seaweed and bean curd salad. This one, mom also used to order all the time growing up. So we're very familiar I, I with this. That. Inside, you can tell there's the bean curd and the seaweed of course but there's also some bean sprouts glass noodles and also some peppers cheers mm. very nice texture very refreshing there's so many different things going on you have the light crunch of the bean sprouts as well as a more firm crunch from the seaweed and also the bean curd the dogan just a very nice mixture of things i'm like trying to think if i came to Jin Tai Fung and i had to pick one which one would i order if i had to only pick one i would pick this one because it has so much different texture and flavor i think we would both rank this one above the cucumber salad because it's more unique to Jin Tai Fung next up we have this soy noodle salad and i'm literally so excited because i haven't had this in so long but it's one of my favorite things to eat growing up not just at Jin Tai Fung but like at a bunch of other restaurants too it's kind of like tofu but shaped as noodles mixed with carrots and celery oh yo we're intertangled cheers i haven't had that in so long so that really hit the spot but you know i have to say i feel like at some other restaurants actually better than this one i agree the one at dintai fang surprisingly is not as outstanding it's definitely more light on the flavor almost like a little bit on the blander side and also the soy noodle is not as crunchy as mm -hmm. some of the other places we had i felt that the soy noodle is more is, bouncy and it has a certain kind of crunchy mouth feel to it i'm gonna rank this in last place i totally agree so next up we have this wood ear mushroom salad in vinegar dressing. I'm very curious because I personally really like wood ear mushrooms. Cheers! Why are you making faces? It should be so good! Why are you making faces? It should be so good! <laughs> I think it's that ginger, huh? I didn't know that was ginger. You guys know how I feel about ginger. It's my number one most hated food in the whole world. I hate when you eat something, you don't know it has ginger in it. Like actual pieces of ginger. It's like different when it's just ginger flavoring or whatever. But this is actual like strands. It betrayed me. If I don't get any of the strands of ginger, then I think it's okay. I love ginger, but I think it's a little too sour. Because the vinegar dressing. Yeah, a little too sour for me. But I do like the texture of the wood ear mushroom. It has this nice crunchiness Crunchy. to it. I think it's safe to say I'm going to put this one in last place below Low, the soy noodle salad. I have to agree with you. Next up, we have these beautiful sweet and sour pork ribs. They're like so shiny and that nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, wow. Very strong flavor. I love it. Sweet, tangy, savory. Definitely very meaty. But very tender meat. Not like fall off the bone tender, but pretty tender. I love the texture. Actually had a little bit of crunch on the outside. I think 
I am gonna rank it above the soy noodle, but a little bit below the cucumber salad. I'm gonna put it right under the seaweed and bean curd salad as number two. Next up, we have this steamed soup with bone-in chicken. My friends just absolutely love this chicken soup. The broth is so clear. It literally kind of looks like water, you know? Cheers. Wow. It has some intense chicken flavor to it. It's very chickeny, for sure. <laughs> chickeny, I like that. It's nice because it's like a light broth, but it has a lot of flavor to it as well. I feel like this would be really good if you're like in the winter or if you're like mm. sick and you need chicken soup. This is a good chicken soup. This is a good, good chicken soup. I think for the ranking, I'm gonna put it above the soy noodle salad. Me too. Last but not least, we have the hot and sour soup, which is definitely a favorite at other Chinese this restaurants. Time. We always order hot and sour soup. I don't know if we've actually tried the Dentai Fung one before. They have this like little pocket of black pepper <laughs> and then also some chili oil here. They said to mix it up real good because there's like vinegar on the bottom. Wow. Cheers. Mm. You're making favorites again. It doesn't really taste like hot and sour soup. Surprisingly with uh, that much pepper and chili oil, it's actually the flavor is really light. I don't even taste any spice. I don't taste that pepper. I don't taste that chili oil at all. It's not hot and it's not sour. I know. I'm like, did I mix this enough? Because I don't taste the hot or the sour. And me and mom have had years of experience in drinking hot and sour soup. And this one, I, I don't think is up there with our favorites. No. I'm just gonna rank it right above the wood ear. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. So these are our final appetizer rankings. Let's move on to the noodles. Yes. So for the noodles, there's a few like duplicate kind of items. There's a vegan noodles and spicy sauce and a normal noodles and spicy sauce and a vegan noodles and sesame sauce and a normal noodles and sesame sauce. So we figured we would just order the vegan noodles and sesame sauce so we can try the vegan noodles and then we get the normal noodles with spicy sauce. And then they have chicken fried noodle, shrimp fried noodle, pork fried noodle. It's pretty much all the same. It's just swapping out the protein. So we ended up ordering the shrimp fried noodles and then we also got the Shanghai rice cakes with pork. All right, so first up in the noodle category, we have the noodles with spicy sauce. This is so pretty. The noodles are laid perfectly. You got the green onions and a little radish on top. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Now smelling it after we mixed wow. it, I'm pretty sure this is the same sauce that they use on the wonton. Ooh. And that sauce is my favorite. It's so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. It's that wonton sauce. It's so good. Perfect level of spice. Not too spicy, but definitely get picked. And there's just a the flavor. Like that soy, vinegary-ish flavor in there. Tons of flavor. I could eat this whole bowl. Mm. Mm. This is so good. So right now, we're gonna rank it in the number one spot. Next up, we have these vegan noodles with sesame sauce. And this one actually looks spicy too. Look at that. I know. Red it's oil. Red. All right, let's mix it up good. Oh, you can really smell that fragrant sesame. It's coating the noodles so nicely. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely very strong sesame taste. That sesame flavor is so strong, it coats the noodles like completely. It's really overpowering. And it's also spicy too. Definitely has a kick to it. I also think with the vegan noodles, very good too. It didn't lose any of that great noodle texture. It's still very bouncy and chewy. Mm -hmm. And it goes super well with the sauce. If you don't tell me this is vegan noodle, I would not yeah. have known it. Same. The noodles are equally good, I think. For the ranking, I think I'm gonna rank it in second place under the noodles with spicy sauce. Same here. Next step, we have these noodles with diced beef and Sichuan peppers. And I didn't even know that Dintai has this dish. this dish. Let's go ahead and mix it up. You can see inside here there's diced beef, of course, as well as some dogan is in there too, the bean curd. And there's cucumber, cilantro, and pepper. Oh, and even edamame. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? This tastes like niromi and beef noodle soup without the soup. It has literally the exact same flavor. Yes, yes. But in a dry noodle form. I love it. I was not expecting that flavor profile. Very savory flavor with the meat. It's like so umami when you're slurping the noodles. And the flavor clings onto the noodles very well. Cucumber and the cilantro add a nice brightness as well as the cucumber adding the little crunch. Wow, I am impressed. This oh my is gosh. great. I think for the ranking, I'm gonna put it in number one. Wow. The spicy sauce, while I really love that one, I think it's really good. I can order the wontons and get that same sauce and get that same 
same happiness. And then I can order this instead and get a different flavor. This is so unique. I have never tasted something like this in other restaurants. I have to rank this in number one too. Next up, we have these noodles with minced pork. And this one looks actually very similar to the diced beef one because it has the little bean curd as well. But this one instead of cilantro has green onions and it has pork instead of beef. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Ooh, I can smell it. I can smell oh. the dou ban jiang. It's like zhajiang mian. Yes, yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Very flavorful zhajiang mian. It's super umami. And I think it's from that dou ban jiang that you're talking about. Yeah, the bean paste sauce. It's really good with the minced pork. A very nice balance between the meat and the noodles and the vegetables. First thing with flavors. And sometimes in zhajiang mian, the bean yes. flavor is too strong. But this one is not. It's the perfect balance. I totally agree. I think for the ranking, I'm going to put it below the spicy sauce. I agree. We're actually very in sync on our rankings today. It Last is. time, we were not no. that in sync. Next up, we have this sliced chicken noodle soup. I think this is the classic Chinese restaurant chicken noodle soup. With the bok choy and the sliced carrots like that. Cheers. Cheers the noodles on their own. I mean, it's still very good. It has that nice chew, and similar springy, to the yeah. other dishes, the dry noodles we tried, but flavor-wise, it's kind of bland if you just have the noodles by itself. Yes, so yes. let me try some of that broth. It's kind of bland, too. I mean, it has more flavor than the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely on the blander side. You know, because the, all the other dishes we try so far are packed with flavor. And this one is a complete change. Even the vegetable it has a very um, bland taste to it. For the ranking, I would have to put this one in last place. Yes, I would put it in last place too. Next up, we have these noodles with fried pork chop. And they recommend getting the pork chop on the side. Otherwise, it'll get all soggy on the noodles. So how do you think we should eat this? Take a bite of the pork chop and <laughs> quickly slurp the noodles? After that sounds like a plan. Okay. To me. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, the pork chop definitely made the dish. It's very light and crispy on the outside. Inside is tender and, and it's flavorful. Juicy. Kind of like a salt and pepper kind of flavor. We would always order the pork chop with the fried rice. And I personally think I like it with the fried rice better. The noodle with the soup itself is just like very bland. Then you have to rely on the pork chop for flavor. But then it's inconvenient to eat them at the same time. Especially because you don't want the pork chop to get soggy. I'm going to rank this right above the chicken one. Because the pork chop makes it a little bit better. Yeah. I'm going to put it there too. So next up, we have the tofu puff and glass noodle soup and this is the first one where the noodles are different it's like the chewy like last noodle it looks like it has those you know tofu puffs in here but then there's also this in the middle it looks kind of like a sausage but then on the outside it's like tofu skin type thing cheers I expected that noodle to be chewier. A little soft, huh? I like the tofu puff. Definitely has an interesting texture. It's like fluffy and light, but chewy at the same time. And it absorbs a lot of that soup as well. So you get kind of a nice burst of like soupiness. I think this one I would put between the chicken one and the pork chop one. I think I put it there too. How come I'm agreeing with you all the time now? Our rankings are like literally the same. And the dumpling one, our rankings are so different. Next up, we have the braised beef noodle soup. If you guys know me, you know I'm a braised beef noodle soup fanatic. Yes. When I was in Taiwan, I think I had beef noodles at least like 10 times in three weeks. So I'm very excited. Cheers. It's absorbing the flavor really very well. It has that nice classic beef noodle soup flavor. Not a umami taste. That is a nice chunk of beef. So meaty and tender. It's like soft and it's very flavorful. It actually melts in my mouth. And the broth is very good. I don't think it's really that spicy, but it has such rich and deep Intense. beefy flavor. I'm gonna rank it number one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like noodle soups, but I also really like dry noodles. So it's hard for me to decide between this and the noodles with diced beef because that was basically like beef noodle soup without the soup. And this is beef noodle soup with the soup. But I think if I had to pick, I would still put the diced beef above this one. Oh! Next up, we have the shrimp fried noodles. In here, there's some spinach and napa cabbage, some onion in there as well. Cheers! Ooh. I'm impressed with the shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp is nice and plump and crunchy. Noodles definitely have a nice chew. And flavor-wise, I think it has kind of a savory soy saucy flavor. It's actually not that strong. Definitely not bad, though. I wish that the noodles were bouncier, and then I wish it had a little bit more flavor. It's gonna rank above the pork chop soup noodle. I actually agree. I would put it above the pork chop and below the sesame. All right, last but not least, we're finally at the end. We got the Shanghai rice cakes with pork. And this is a dish that I grew up eating. Like, 
like mom would order it all the time and I feel like it's super underrated. Our family fight over this dish. That's true. It comes with these rice cakes that are so chewy. It has so much flavor. I love the pork with it and the vegetables. Cheers. Mm. This is absolutely great. Surprisingly, this one is so much more flavorful than the last noodle dish. The rice cakes really hold on to that flavor. It's like every time you chew, you just get that nice soy sauce savory flavor. You can kind of taste that flavor from the wok as well. Right. The kind of like wok hay. And I really love the crunch that you get from the Napa cabbage. It just adds this whole different texture to the dish. I think this is gonna be number two for me. Right behind the braised beef noodle soup. I'm gonna rank it number two below the noodles with the ice beef. Oh. Yeah. So here are the final rankings for both the appetizers and all the noodles. We are so full. So let's pack all our leftovers, pay the bill, and we will reconvene in the car. Ah. All right, so that's it for today's video. We are so full of noodles and appetizers. Also, don't forget that if you guys want to see part three with wontons, fried rice, boba drinks, you know, other things on their menu, then make sure you get this video too. 8,000 likes. <laughs> And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! So I'm gonna finish what's in my bowl because I very she won. <laughs> I already finished what's in my bowl. <laughs> That's because I went for seconds and you didn't. Yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. <laughs> okay, thumbnail? Mm -hmm. Ready? Like here. <laughs> mom! I was like, oh no, mom forgot her drink. Then I looked. It's completely done. Hee <laughs> hee. <Yeah, no. laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to say? Let's do that.